So we started out in Lightroom like this. We had, you know, this softbox here and these things here and uh, just lots of bright distracting reflections and a little bit of somebody there. And then we went over to Photoshop and we got rid of those distractions, got rid of that somebody there and we cropped it for Instagram, expanded it with generative expand and it looks good. Let's take a look at this shot with Ari. Uh, love this shot. There's a little distraction to the left over here where my softbox reflection got on the shot. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm very aware of when I shoot against glass and, and not to, you know, get my reflection in it and try not to get the softbox reflection in it. But it's really hard to get the lighting I want and also um, move the softbox far enough um, out of the reflection angle um, that I get the lighting that I want. So you know what, this is what I wanted. I got the lighting that I wanted here and I said, you know, what? I'm just going to Photoshop it out. So how am I going to do that? Uh, well, let's start in Photoshop. I did some just basic um, edits here. I'll reset it so you can see how it was straight out of camera. So that was the straight out of camera shot, a little bit underexposed. It was um, an, uh, or kind of a, a rainy day. So, and we were underneath. Um, there's like a, it's almost like we're in a parking garage, but it wasn't a parking garage, but so it was rather a dark day, but uh, managed to pull it off, underexpose it a little bit. So let's edit this in Photoshop. Um, the first, so kind of the rules of portraits say, you know, the, the brightest spot in the picture is where your eye is going to be drawn to, right? So instead of being drawn to her, it's drawn to this here. Now you can make that argument for these up here too. Maybe we take those out as well. Um, there's a little reflection here where... Um, I, this, I don't think this was me. I was kind of more straight on in front of her. I think this was someone else over here. So, um, there's some stuff in there too. I, I don't know. We can leave it or we could try to take it out. Um, this is really what's bothering me and maybe these little things right here. Um, sometimes I think these bright spots are cool looking. It just depends on the shot, right? This definitely needs to go gridded soft box over here. So, um, let's do a control J that just duplicates the background layer. In this case, the layer beneath it, in this case, it was the background layer. So right now I've got the marquee selection tool. So let's choose the lasso tool, okay? And we're just gonna lasso around this, right? As carefully as we can, just like that. And I'm just gonna choose generative fill. I mean, I could choose the remove tool. I could try to clone stamp it out. Um, content aware fill would be another one. Let's just let AI do its thing. All right. So first result didn't like that. That's a little better, but not great. And that's not great either. Let's do another one. Got to tell you, I was doing some edits on uh, this series earlier and it was doing much better. Um, I, if this doesn't work, I have an idea cause I was doing these earlier, um, kind of expanding the sides and it was doing really good. So no, no, and no. What the heck is that over there? It's like there's a little, her fingers over here that it got in. So we're gonna cancel that. That's a big fail on the generative fill part, but let's go back up to the marquee tool, okay? And you know what? I'm just gonna grab all the way down to here because this is what I was doing earlier, right? And we'll just do, grab that whole section, right? Let's give it some more information. And let's say generative fill, and I'm gonna hit generate. Now notice that I, those generative resulting layers that were there earlier, I deleted those layers. So I'm back down to this uh, control J layer where I duplicated the background layer. See, see what I mean? You, you kind of gave it that big sample and it just, it does better. Um, okay, so that, result I'm liking. I'm clicking on the second variation. Um, let me compare these. That's the third variation. I like that one too. What's the difference? Okay, I see what's happening there. So I think I like the third variation a little bit better. The spacing looks a little more correct to me. So that's cool. All right. So that worked. So the other thing, you know, we could do is I'll flatten this down. 
all I did was I right clicked and I chose flatten. So, okay, I'm gonna do a control J again. And this time I'm gonna hold down the shift key and, okay, I'm gonna go back to the lasso tool. I'm gonna just lasso that one. Then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and that'll allow me to make a second selection, right? Hold down the shift key, make a third selection. And while we're at it, let's just get rid of that one. Get rid of as much of that one as we can. And that one, okay. So pretty good, I don't really like this here either. I'm still holding down the shift key to make these multiple selections, right? Getting rid of these little spots. And we'll come back over here and deal with this little reflection. I don't know if I wanna deal with that or not, I might just leave it. So we got all these little things selected um, by holding down shift key and just I could just keep selecting them, right? So let's do another generative fill. I'm gonna hit the button, hit generate. Not even telling it what I want because it knows what I want. Pretty sure it knows what I want. We'll see. All right, cool. It knew what I wanted. So I like that. A uh, little spot there. So I I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so we had the original sh shot here in Lightroom look like that. And the Photoshop. We basically took out all those little, the soft box, these little distractions, these little balls here. Um, pretty good cleanup. Not perfect, there's some spots there, you know, um, but, but better, they're not, those little bright spots aren't distracting the eye, right? Um, you know, I could come in here and try to get this stuff out. Maybe this one here, let me just see what happens. If I, let me kind of zoom in here. And I'm just going to try and get like as close to her as I can. Come over here and just, I could just use the, probably would be better, the quick selection tool. Let me try that. All right. I'll just come over here. Yeah. <laughs> that worked a lot better. So let's just do that one. Let's um, flatten it down again. When I don't flatten it down, um, it's using the generative fill layers for the sample and it doesn't get the whole sample, right? So control J again, whoops, control Z. We'll just do it here. Generative fill, generate. When I did the control J, it was just duplicating what I had selected. That's why I said, no, let's just go back to the base layer. We're not so far in that we can't just do an undo. Okay, so reflection pretty much gone there. It looks better, I think. So. Pretty much got that done pretty well. Um, there's some like little lines here, you know, I could clean up with um, maybe just the remove tool. Some little, they're not really lines, they're like smudges or something. I can't remember if this is where, um, you know, I took them out before those little spots or if this was just smudges on the window, you know. That remove tool does a pretty good job, so. Um, I'm gonna leave these streaks in here because I'm not that, I don't wanna spend that much time on this. Let me put it that way. If you guys wanna spend two hours editing a portrait, be my guest, I'm not the guy. I got too many of these things to do. Maybe I could hire one of the 4,000 retouchers that keep contacting me. God bless you, I know you're just trying to get business, you gotta hustle, but golly, if I get another retoucher, reach out. All right, so I'm just doing the remove tool. I'm just cleaning up the ground a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. That wouldn't be very realistic, would it? All right. All right. So clean enough, right? So that's pretty good. So let's do a crop four by five. I just hit the little crop tool, which you pick right here on this drop down. Um, I like the expansiveness, the height of this. It makes it look, grand you know um i think she's kind of in the middle whoops it went back to original ratio so again i like the expansiveness i'm going to raise this up to here uh, we need to move her up a little bit maybe over a tiny bit just like that i think that's pretty good and we're going to do generative expand there we go. Now it's going to do it. Okay, now it's going to think about it. 
Yeah, perfect. See, when I do those sides, it does a really good job. Sometimes it leaves a little line that's noticeable, but it did a really good job that time. I mean, I can look at these other variations. Um, I don't think that I really need to. I mean, any of them are fine. So I'm going to go with that first one. I like the first one. That's good. So um, attention to detail would dictate. We'll do a new blank layer by hitting the plus. Uh, one thing that's bothering me is this little string right here. So let's choose the remove tool. Again, this one right here, if you don't see it, healing brush tool, remove tool. It's right under the healing brush. So if you don't see it in your list up there, just come in here and we shall get rid of the string. The image is transparent. So let's flatten it down. It's just a gotcha. What that means, it throws an arrow like that. You got to have, you can't have a blank layer. That tool, uh, the context of that tool, it only works on a layer with pixels in it. So that has the picture in it right here, right? So we'll do it on the background layer. You could do it on a new, uh, a new background layer copy if you wanted to, but this will work. So we got that. And then get the shadow of the string. The string has a shadow. There we go. And so we got the string and we're good to go. We got it all cleaned up. So that's all there is to it. So we started out in Lightroom like this. We had, you know, this softbox here and these things here and uh, just lots of bright, distracting reflections and a little bit of somebody there. And then we went over to Photoshop and we got rid of those distractions, got rid of that somebody there and we cropped it for Instagram, expanded it with generative expand and it looks good. If you guys like this kind of content, let me know and give it a like if you do like it and give me a subscribe and that helps the channel. Appreciate it. You have a good one.